Welcome to Holy Mass. The celebrant is Father Tony Daniels. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and with, and with your, your spirit. spirit. My brothers and sisters, as we gather for Holy Mass, and as you can see, the colors of the vestments that we are wearing today is green. We are back in ordinary time. And the readings once again calls us to put our faith and trust in the Lord. And especially during these difficult times, these times of uncertainty, the coronavirus. And as our government has said that we are approaching peak time now. So we have faith and we trust in the Lord and we pray for his mercy and his forgiveness. Last week, as we celebrated the Feast of Corpus Christi, and it was the first time that many of you receive communion after a good couple of weeks, after a good couple of months. And many of you also felt guilty. You have not been to confession. I ask you, to prepare yourselves as you will be receiving communion this morning, that you come to the Lord acknowledging that, yes, you are not perfect, none of us are perfect, and take a few seconds and examine yourselves. And together we say, I confess to Almighty, Almighty God, God and, and to you, my, my brothers, brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask the Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy upon us all, forgive us our sins, and bring us everlasting life. Amen. Together we say, glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you, we give you thanks for your great glory. Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father, Lord Jesus Christ, Only Begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Amen. Let us pray. Grant, O Lord, that we may always revere and love your holy name, for you never deprive of your guidance those you set firm on the foundation of your love. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Jeremiah. Jeremiah said, I hear many whispering, terror is on every side. Denounce him, let us denounce him. 
say all the familiar friends watching for my fall. Perhaps he will be deceived, and then we can overcome him and take our revenge on him. But the Lord is with me as a dread warrior. Therefore, my persecutors will stumble. They will not overcome me. They will be greatly shamed, for they will not succeed. Their eternal dishonor will never be forgotten. O Lord of hosts, who tests the righteous, who sees the heart of and the mind, let me see your vengeance upon them. For to you have I committed my cause. Sing to the Lord, praise the Lord, for he has delivered the life of the needy from the hand of the evildoers. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. In, In your, your great mercy, mercy answer me, O Lord. Lord. It is for you that I suffer taunts, that shame has covered my face. To my own kin I have become an outcast, a stranger to the children of my mother. Zeal for your house consumes me, and taunts against you fall on me. In, In your, your great, great mercy, mercy, answer me, O Lord. Lord. But I pray to you, O Lord, for a time of your favor. In your great mercy, answer me, O God, with your salvation that never fails. Lord, answer, for your mercy is kind. In your great compassion, turn towards me. In, In your, your great, great mercy, mercy Answer me, O Lord. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will receive... No, sorry, revive. Sorry, start again. The poor, when they see it, will be glad, and God-seeking hearts will revive. For the Lord listens to the needy and does not spurn his own in, in their chains. Let the heavens and the earth give him praise, the seas and everything that moves in them. In your great mercy, answer me, O Lord. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Romans. Brethren, as sin came into the world through one man and death through sin, and so death spread to all men because all men sinned. Sin indeed was in the world before the law was given, but sin is not counted where there is no law. Yet death reigned from Adam to Moses, even over those whose sins were not like the transgression of Adam, who was a type of the one who was to come. But the free gift is not like the trespass, for if many died through one man's trespass, much more has the grace of God and the free gift in the grace of that one man, Jesus Christ, abounded for many. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The spirit of truth will bear witness to me, says the Lord, and you also are witnesses. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. 
At that time, Jesus said to his apostles, Have no fear of men, for nothing is covered that will not be revealed, or hidden that will not be known. What I tell you in the dark, utter in the light, and what you hear whisper, proclaim upon the housetops. And do not fear those who kill the body, but cannot kill the soul. Rather, fear him who can destroy both soul and body in hell. Are not two sparrows sold for a penny? And not one of them will fall to the ground without your father's will. But even the hairs of your head are all numbered. Fear not, therefore, you are of more value than many sparrows. So everyone who acknowledges me before men, I also will acknowledge before my Father who is in heaven. But whoever denies me before men, I also will deny before my Father who is in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. Christ. As we gather to celebrate Mass on this Father's Day, and we take this opportunity of wishing all fathers a blessed, a joyous Father's Day, and may you be spoiled rotten at home. Bless you all. The readings that we have heard are beautiful readings. Once again, the readings calls us to put our faith and trust in the Lord. And above all, not to fear. We are living through these difficult times, the corona pandemic, where many people are fearful. In today's first reading from the prophet Jeremiah, the prophet Jeremiah called by God to go out to approach the authorities of his time, and he encountered many difficulties that he also, as the prophet, even questions. And God once again assures him that he has not abandoned him. In life, whenever God calls us to do something, we always think that things are going to be okay. It's going to be easy. But you find how difficult it is. When you reflect upon the lives of all the prophets, all the saints in the early church, as God called them to spread the good news, they encountered lots of difficulties. They were challenged. Many of them even doubted. Many of them even wondered, is God calling them? Because they encountered many difficulties. And that's life. You and me, as we continue our journey, people of prayer, when we could come to church, we would come to church. We would reach out to our fellow brothers and sisters, help them and assist them. If people needed help, we are good and we are kind towards one another. And we expect things to be good. We expect all the goodness and kindness in return. But I'm sure many of you have experienced it doesn't always work that way. As you reach out to community, to family members, you always find that in return it's not always that good. But the important thing is to persevere. Continue, like the prophet Jeremiah. Continue responding to the call of our Lord. The gospel that we have heard, and a number of times we are once again, do not be afraid. And as you and me continue through this difficult time, this corona time, this pandemic, not knowing what the future holds, as parents, we are fearful. As our children leave, go to school, go to colleges, various institutions. And as we have heard that once again, many schools have been affected with the coronavirus. We hear of people that have been affected, and then the school has to close. Some institutions also, no sooner have they opened and they close. And so we are fearful. When we leave our homes, we go to work. Those of us that can go to work, we are fearful who we will, who we will encounter. Last week was the Feast of Corpus Christi. And I think it was appropriate that we distribute communion on this beautiful feast of Corpus Christi, receiving our Lord. Many of you turned out to receive our Lord. Some of you were afraid, not knowing. 
But I'm sure as many family and friends have told you, it was very spiritual, it was beautiful. Many of you that came to receive communion were very emotional because you came to receive communion for the first time after many weeks, after many months, receiving the Lord. Reminds you once again, making your first communion, you're receiving the Lord. But also many of you also doubted you have not been to confession. That's why at the beginning of the celebration, I emphasized a little bit more that we take some time and seek the Lord's mercy and forgiveness. So when you come to receive communion this morning, you know you have confessed, you have received the Lord's forgiveness, and you can receive him. Many times we are very hard on ourselves. We are not so forgiving. And we serve a Lord who is so forgiving, who is so caring, who is so loving, that even at the last hour we seek his mercy and forgiveness. The Lord will forgive us. So as we will be coming today to receive communion, again, that the Lord awaits you and me. The Lord knows our faults, our shortcomings, our brokenness. But all that he wants of you and me is to come to him to acknowledge, yes, we are not perfect, we have sinned. And the Lord will once again reach out to you and me. So at times we mustn't be too hard on ourselves. We mustn't be too hard on ourselves. And often I say, thank heaven that God will be our judge one day and not ourselves because we are very harsh, not so compassionate, not so forgiving. And the Lord is a Lord of love, compassion, and mercy. As I said, even the last hour, we seek his mercy and forgiveness. He hasn't got a scorecard where he keeps a score check of what faults have you done. He's just happy that you have come back to seek his forgiveness. I, th I think of the story of the prodigal son, the son who came to the father, and the son, thinking that his father's going to give him a mouthful, the father might not forgive him, and the father waited patiently and embraced him and loved him and did not give him a mouthful, but was just happy the son came to his senses. He came to his senses and he seek forgiveness and starting afresh. And that's what life is all about for you and me, that we start afresh. So these weeks that lie ahead, these months that lie ahead, many of us are fearful. But put your faith and put your trust. As the Lord says, do not be afraid. Have faith in him. And to the fathers, I know as we celebrate Father's Day, this last couple of, of days and weeks, we have heard also on the news, gender violence. But we shouldn't put all fathers into this category. Those that have abused, that have beaten up their wives, there are many good fathers outside, outside there that are loving fathers, caring husbands, caring dads. So a special Father's Day to all of you. And may this day be a joyful day where you can come together as a family and celebrate. Celebrate God's love. Celebrate God's mercy. Bless you all. And together we say, I believe in one God, the Father, the Father Almighty, Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten not made, consubstantial with the Father, through him all things were made. For us men, for our salvation, he came down from heaven, and by the Holy Spirit, was incarnate of the Virgin Mary and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate. He suffered death and was buried and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. 
He ascended into heaven, and he is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Gathered before the Father, who knows the needs of every creature he has created, we confidently ask him for his strength amidst the trials of life. For Pope Francis and all the leaders of the Church, that they may always joyfully proclaim the free gift of salvation found in Jesus Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all fathers, that they may be granted wisdom and humility in the face of the task of par parenting, Give them the strength to do well by their children and by you. For fathers who have passed into the next life, that they may be welcomed into their heavenly Father's loving embrace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For victims of gender-based violence, that they may be guided to help, support, and safety for the healing of victims and perpetrators, for wisdom in addressing the root causes and courage to act decisively. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For ourselves, that the daily actions of our lives may always bear witness to the faith we professed with our lips even in the face of opposition. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For those suffering or going through difficulty, we commit their cause to the Lord. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We lift up to God the COVID-19 pandemic those infected by the virus, those who put their lives at risk for the good of others, those dependent on the goodwill of others, those impacted by the economic downturn, and people in the media industry who keep us informed. We pray for wisdom and fortitude in combating the pandemic and its social impact. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. O God, our refuge and our strength, hear the prayers of your church. Grant us your help in our needs, your guidance in our doubts, your strength in our weaknesses, and your consolation in our sorrow. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this bread to offer, which earth has given and human hands have made. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation. Through your goodness, we have this wine to offer fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Lord, wash away my iniquity, cleanse me from my sin.
Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May, may the, the Lord, Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, the sacrifice of conciliation and praise, and grant that cleanse by its actions we may make offerings of a heart pleasing to you, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with, with your, your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the, the Lord. Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right, right and just. just. It is truly right and just. Our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. Through Christ our Lord. For by his birth, he brought renewal to humanity's fallen state and by his suffering cancelled out our sins. By his rising from the dead, he has opened the way to eternal life. And by ascending to you, O Father, he has unlocked the gates of heaven. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them, like the dew fall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these sacred mysteries. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread, giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with our Holy Father, Pope Francis, our Archbishop Butit Lachali, our Auxiliary Bishop Duncan Soke, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection. 
And we remember family and friends who have passed on those anniversaries that occurred during this time. And also those who have died of the coronavirus. And all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, the Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints, Saint Eugene de Mazenot, Saint Charles Borromeo, who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, in him, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours, Almighty Father, forever and ever. At the Savior's command, and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, graciously grant peace in our day, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the, the kingdom, kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now, now and forever. forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you, Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. And we give an elbow, and we give another elbow. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. In this moment, let us receive Christ in spiritual communion. My Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most blessed sacrament, I love you above all things, and I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot now receive you sacramentally, I ask that through the Holy Spirit you come spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there, and unite myself wholly to you and to your body on earth, the Church. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. Renewed and nourished by the sacred body and precious blood of your Son, we ask of your mercy, O Lord, that we celebrate with constant devotion may be our sure pledge of redemption through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Just before the blessing, we invite you once again to come to receive communion as you have prepared yourself from 10 o'clock to 11 o'clock. The deacons, as well as myself, we will assist for those of you who so wish to receive communion. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your, your spirit. spirit. And may Almighty God continue blessing all of you, and especially the deads. And I ask all the deads to bow your heads for a special blessing this morning. God our Father, in your wisdom and love, you made all things. Bless these men, that they may be strengthened as Christian fathers. Let the example of their faith and love shine forth. Grant that we, their sons and daughters, may honor them always with a spirit of profound respect. Grant this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. And may Almighty God bless all of you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our celebration of Holy Mass comes to a conclusion for this morning. Go and proclaim the gospel by your lives. Thanks be to God.